Hey what's up guys, it's Craft Phoenix back with another video today and today we're going to be potting up those plants that I got from Brad's greenhouse. I'm filming this right after I unboxed them obviously. As you can see here I have all four plants, I have four pots. This one's going to be for the Dracula orchid because it's a net pot. The other three will be for the three other orchids. Now for potting supplies, obviously you can see I have some long fiber sphagnum moss that I actually just cut up very, very, f not finely, but loosely I guess with scissors, just a standard pair of scissors. And then in here I have some larger bark. Now I'm going to have to do the tedious task of actually searching through there and finding the smaller bark because some of these pieces of bark are like the size of the pot. I mean, like, you know, <laughs> it's just a little hard to, uh, I guess, combine. Obviously, if you guys have a finer bark substrate, then that would be ideal. However, I do not, so this is what I'm working with. First, I guess we'll just start with the Nepenthes because they're both out of the bag. So I'm putting these guys up in two and a half inch pots with, they're just standard, like, planter pots I guess I don't know what you want to call it but that's what they are and so essentially what I'm gonna do I'm not going to be using a ton of bark mix I use slightly more for the restripia but it's not going to be a lot for the Nepenthes because my my terrarium gets dry fairly quickly so I'm not too worried about them being soaking wet or very soggy. Basically what I'm just gonna do, kinda just throw it in there, mix it up a little bit. Brad again was awesome to deal with. He responded to all my questions. He He's an awesome guy. I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend him to those of you that are in Canada and want to order from him. I definitely recommend it. Technically you're not supposed to really keep the old moss, but honestly, he got these plants not very long ago, so I'm not too, too worried about keeping his moss in there. Because realistically, I mean, it's quite new moss, and I'm just not too worried about it. A bit off camera here. Sorry about that, folks. I'll stick that just like so. So I'm working with dry moss here. I don't know if I like the dry moss more or like the wet moss more. I might like wet a little bit more. I don't know. I know some people complain about it not like it's sticking to their fingers and stuff, but I feel like this stuff is. It's a pain because it's not wet and you don't know how much it's going to condense. Obviously after you do hundreds of pots of moss, you kind of get a feel for it. But you can see here I'm just going around the sides, making sure it's packed down to a certain extent. I'm not pushing too hard. You don't want to come back to too much around the roots because you want them to still be able to breathe. But... I mean, it's still got to stay in the pot, right? So there's the Nepenthes Maxima. So now that you've seen one plant potty, the Nepenthes Maxima, I am going to kick it into time lapse, and you can watch the rest of the video. You'll see everything that you need to see. There'll be the potting mix. There'll be everything. I just feel like you don't want a 20-minute video potting three different plants. I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse. We'll catch you on the other side to close the video up.
you sin this now. I'm gonna water these guys. I hope you like the potting video. If you guys wanna see more videos like this on future plants that I get, leave a like down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section down below. I will answer to pretty much everything. I wanna say a big shout out to Brad's Greenhouse for sending me these plants. I really appreciate it. You guys should definitely go subscribe to him if you haven't already. He's on YouTube and he is a wizard. If you guys want to subscribe to my channel, I will leave a little face here that you can click on and it will subscribe you. If you want to see my last video on getting and unboxing these plants, you can click on the link on the screen and you guys can go check it out. Thanks for watching guys. Graphic Phoenix, out of here.